Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Heaven's Entrepreneurs TV. Guys, we have a special guest with us, Erwin Garcia, Kingdom Crypto Expert. I'm super excited to have him on the show today. Guys, uh, he's got a ton of things going on right now and uh, I don't want to waste any time. I'm just going to bring him onto the stage and I'm going to get him to talk to you. Hey, my friend, how are you uh, doing? I'm so excited, Kirshen. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I'm like, wow, what an honor. I remember on the side note, way, way back uh, when I was like, I think in November and December, I was like, Christian, wow, Christian Joseph, this guy's amazing. This guy's me. I can't wait to meet him. And now I call you friend. And I was like, what an honor, Christian. I'm like, what an honor to have you. So you were watching my stuff before? Oh, yeah. Stalking you, wow, my friend. I, I was like, what's yeah. this guy up to? I've got to learn. <laughs> oh, my goodness. God bless, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's an honor and pleasure to have you. You're saying that. Thank you, man. So meeting you at uh, Web3, you know, the Christians Web3 in America, you know, that was phenomenal. That was absolutely phenomenal. And uh, exactly as you are, you know, on camera, that's how you are off camera. <laughs> You're just the most friendliest guy. And that's, that means a lot to me. That means a lot to me. So my friend, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. You're a kingdom crypto expert, but talk to us a bit about your journey and what God has done to actually give you this financial anointing to create wealth. Awesome, awesome. I mean, I don't want to go take too much time. I mean, I'll definitely do that during the challenge, my upcoming challenge. But real quickly, uh, let me see how far back do you want me. How much time do we have to, to talk about me? We got One time. minute, two minutes? Yeah, more at least. Uh, more, more than two minutes. No, no, you right, can go plenty of time. <laughs> okay, I can go start way, way back. Uh, so grew up in the Philippines. Uh, and then I thought I was supposed to go to California, which is where my family from my dad's side was supposed to be. But God had other plans, so we, I ended up. We ended up in Vancouver, BC, British Columbia, west coast of Canada. Then I find out that I have um, Godfather in Toronto, so we end up in Toronto. So the Lord was setting me up. Uh, that was around way way back, 1989. So everything's new: snow, uh, Fruit Loops, movies, all that stuff. Bacon, Canadian bacon, Canadian maple syrup. So from tropical to crazy winter it was march and it was winter and this that was the year the snow was like six feet or something it was crazy so just growing up like a regular kid uh video games uh basketball and then um some girls <laughs> but like there, growing up obviously i'm also a pk so my my my, my parents are in ministry my my mom was a pastor and growing up um Learn how to play keyboard. Actually, Holy Spirit taught me how to play keyboard, which was phenomenal because I had no desire to join the worship team or worship lead or write songs or any of that stuff. I used it. It was like a David moment, just spending time with the Lord with the keyboards. I would go home literally after school, like from 3.30 to like 6.30 before everybody else goes home and just play keys, tears in my face and just loving it because that was how I was communing with the Lord. Uh, not realizing that then I got into the worship team and all that stuff. Um, but I was focusing on basketball, but eventually I messed up my knee. And then, um, because of keys, I was going to go to Australia. This is what I wanted to tell you, Kershaw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said I wanted to go to Hillsong, Sydney, uh, and possibly join the Hillsong United team. But God had other plans. So my parents, I thank God for my parents. Uh, they told me, Erwin, take software engineering and take take. Uh, software engineering in University of Toronto. So I said, you know what? I love you guys so much. I will do it for you. And then they said, after you finish it, then go to Hillsong Australia in in, in Australia. And then that didn't happen. Uh, so after basketball, I thought I was going to do video games. And then that didn't happen. And I was also in the ministry. So I was getting promoted from youth leader, youth pastor to pastor to, to worship leader to a senior mm -hmm. pastor, which is beautiful. Um, but I mean, let me talk about this other part. I was literally the prodigal son. Uh, religion doesn't work. And it's just, I couldn't be this perfect PK, perfect example. And a, a bunch of us probably grew up in that kind of environment where you've got to perform yeah. as opposed to performing from love, as opposed to performing for love. And that made me literally like a prodigal son. So it was like yeah, yeah. really, really hard time in my life. Uh, I mean, just really crazy stuff, all that, um, you know, literally like what the prodigal son did, just went wild and reckless, didn't care about my life. But thank God for God's grace. I think it was 2008 
where I said, Lord, uh, I literally like the prodigal son. I'm like, you know, not there wasn't pigs around, but I had this revelation and said, oh, I mean, when I'm ever in the house of the Lord, he's, it's always been awesome. It's always just been peace and love and joy. And I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? And I was like, I want out of this. And the Lord took me out uh, with my pastor and a couple of friends, which was so awesome. And then that's where I said, Lord, I just want to be aligned to, to kingdom, kingdom assignment. And right there, 2008, I think I got, I think I got married in a few months. I had my first, uh, my, my wife was pregnant uh, a month later. I was, the house came, the car came, the ordination came, uh, the six figures came. It was just, whoop. <laughs> it was like God was so good. And during that time, I felt like I was aligned. And I said to the Lord, Lord, I just want to be full-time in the ministry without the mm. church paying for me. So that's where it all began. Full-time in the ministry before the church. It's funny, Christian. I'm going to be super honest and clear with you. It's because the church can't afford me. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. These, these IT, IT uh, consulting companies were paying me. I'm like, I don't think the church can afford me. Um, but that's what happened to me. And 2014, March 2014, I can still remember it like it was yesterday. The Lord gave me a, a crypto dream. So that was so powerful. March 2014. I think it was yeah. March 2nd, 2014. Do we have time to talk about the dream? Please do. I'll try to, I'll no, try to time please. box it. Uh, just, once again, Christian, I want to say thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I pray you get this, uh, just that the Lord speaks through dreams and definitely stewarding your dreams. So this is what happens. I'm going to try to do the non-15 minutes version to the two-minute version. <laughs> so it was like, I felt like a New Testament writer. Like, wow, it was so vivid. Uh, the whole dream was about how the Father, Daddy God, was the owner of the museum. And I was one of the students in a private tour. So in that museum, it was amazing armor, weapons, score sheets, piano, you know, the whole works of what you typically see in the museum. So I'm like, wow, in the dream. And then when I was writing this in my Evernote app, I was like, I felt like a New Testament uh, writer because I saw so much details. And I was so excited to be to have that museum. And I looked in my pocket cushion and I'm like, I'm broke, like oh. empty, empty. <laughs> so not, no allowance, yeah. and then no lunch money, no bus fare. And I'm like, my dream burst. And I'm like, Ah, oh, this is not gonna happen. So okay. off it continued the dream, and then a fountain showed up, like you know those fountains in the outlet malls where people mm-hmm. drop coins in it. And then I look at the fountain, and I'm like, "Whoa, oh, there's coins in there." So looking back, I'm like, "Ah, oh, lunch money, bus fare." <laughs> so I dip my hands, grab the coins, and I'm like, "Wow, these coins look old." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, look, making sure no one's looking. I dip my hands second time, and then I'm like, "Wow, this could be." Uh, maybe the coins I can have to build my dream museum. And I dipped my hands for the third time, making sure no one was there. Okay, so fast forward, this is like a long story. It was so cool. So I'm making sure, and I continued with the tour. And then the museum owner put an elaborate feast, right? It's all the foods of the world. I mean, Kershen, we didn't get to eat that much together, but I'm talking about South African meats, Chinese food, Japanese food, Italian pastas, uh, Canadian food, uh, Filipino food, all the food in the world. It's like a mega, mega buffet. You mean, I mean, our God is uh, very generous, right? So, and then all of a sudden the sirens went off. It was like, ooh, ooh. And then the announcer goes, warning, artifact missing, warning, artifacts missing. So my heart is pounding. I'm like, I'm like, oh man, it's, I'm gonna get caught. They were searching all our bags. And then the museum owner comes to me, and I love this. It was like, he goes, Erwin, I know it's you, but I forgive you. And he goes, I know you need, you probably need bus fare, lunch fare, and, and an allowance. And I was like, wow. I was just like, yeah. wow. And then the museum owner goes, all right, guys, false alarm, off to desserts of the world, right? Mm-hmm. So that was amazing. And that's, I was writing it, and it continued off. I, I, I back, I guess, fast forward. And I'm still continuing on the dream. I, I wrote to the museum owner and said, my intentions, I said, my, my intentions was to be like you. I want to build a dream yeah. museum like you and I want to pay you back. And then this is where the museum owner was so profound. He says, no need to pay me back. In fact, those are the co- same coins I found in Italy. I mean, probably, Kirsten, you could probably interpret this dream for me. I was funny with all these different details. And then this is the same one. I build a museum. This is the museum owner speaking and says, you can keep it. But he said these words. He said, should you, um, we can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I can coach you. 
And in the dream and in real life, I was crying. The glory of the Lord was in my room. And I was crying. And I said, I will never forget this. I want to be just like you. Hmm. And when the first time I read, I tried to interpret the stream, I had no idea it was cryptos. Yeah. It was like yeah. I had all these other interpretation. And not only that, then it started unfolding. So what happened was eventually three days later, I think March 5th, after March 2nd, March 5th, 2014, I opened up my first Coinbase account, crypto account. Mm -hmm. And literally, I mean, if I go with the numbers, you can see it in the godairdropchallenge.com. The Lord helped me turn um, my portfolio all the way to $4.56 million uh, balloon up 2018. Mm -hmm. So that was like, wow, wow. Yeah. So, um, and then now, I mean, I'm doing challenges, telling people about the supernatural great wall transfer. Uh, true cryptos, just accelerating your kingdom call and accelerating kingdom advancement and raising up kingdom financiers. Yeah, so that was the story. Um, hopefully, I didn't take too much. Dude, time. that's fantastic. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. That's such a, an amazing, amazing testimony. Uh, so, listen, man, uh, I have tons of things to ask you, but I really want to go deeper into that dream for a second. Sure. <laughs> um, that dream is phenomenal. Uh, so, you got the interpretation and things like that, right? I, I asked some of my friends for dream interpretation and then later on in life, I realized the best interpreter, interpreter is yourself, right? Exactly. Like that whole, you get educate yourself. So that's why I was like, now it's starting to make sense. So for instance, a museum, I mean, let me Google it real quickly, but it was so, uh, this museum was so powerful. It's a building in which objects of historical, scientific, artistic, cultural interests are stored and exhibited. And when I read that, I was like, wow. And I wanted to do that. And I want to do that for others. I felt like everybody, when we get to heaven and we get our rewards, we will exhibit our museum and say, Lord, this is what I did for the kingdom and for the king. I didn't hold anything back. And this is what I did. Yeah. So bit, bit, bits yeah. and pieces are like we're are starting to pop up. Yeah. <laughs> I know, man. So I, I know you got tons to do. Like you got tons to do for the kingdom. Uh, and so even with like your upcoming challenge, so I'm going to put a plug in here, your upcoming challenge, uh, it's called the Great Supernatural Wealth Transfer to Equip Jobs, right? And yeah, so with that right now, exactly what are you teaching people? What are you like? Yeah. What is the education part of that? Yeah. For, firstly, I, I teach them my framework, how, how the Lord put me to this kingdom crypto journey. And I teach my framework, which is the seven Ds. You know, I talk about uh, the desire. You got to desire the kingdom. You got to um, dream about the kingdom. You got to have this daring spirit of the kingdom. You got to be desperate for the kingdom. Those four before the do, the do, the diligent. And then this is a funny word, the, the, the seventh word. I'm like, <laughs> my numbers are messed up. The seventh word was dog, which is following someone's movement until you have your own. So using kingdom principles, I discovered that in my 15 years of IT consulting, how the world is using kingdom principle and it works. The kingdom principle is not for, for just believers, right? It's like Walmart was using it. Sears was using it. Entertainment One was using it. And they were prospering. And I was like, wow, Lord. And I, I realized even though I wanted to be in ministry, my 15 years in IT consulting was my moment, my Moses moment where he was training me with the wealth of the world. Kirshen. I was like handling 100 million, 250 million, a half a million dollars. I think the peak I reached was like $780 million worth of budget. I think it was Sears. I was handling that much money in our IT department. I'm like, wow. And I was like, where is this in the church? Where's the head and not the tail? And this is where I realized the mm -hmm. kingdom is, if it's kingdom, it'll go outside the four walls of the church. If it's if it's religion, it'll probably stay in the four walls of the church, yeah. right? So that's what I was like. Wow. And then so what I teach is kingdom cryptos, using kingdom principles to not just sustain your wealth, but grow it. Right. So that's the first first things foremost. And obviously, I believe the Lord is going to use Web3, cryptos, NFTs, metaverse as a supernatural great wealth transfer for kingdom expansion. Right. That's every Wealth transfer in the Bible since Genesis, since Adam and Eve, since Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, since Noah, since Joshua, all of that main purpose of, of, of supernatural great wealth transfers for kingdom expansion.
to accelerate your kingdom call yeah. and to accelerate kingdom expansion. Yeah. You know, it reminds me of, of what happened with Joseph's time, right? So Joseph went out, he got all the people to go and do this, do that, take percentage of the grain and everything, all the resources. And so he went and he stored it up, right? And then he was able to bless everybody else. During that time, everybody came to him and he acted as the harvester. Right. So of course wow. he would be preaching the word or whatever it was, right? He's showing how good his God is. He's showing the wisdom of God to the people. At the same time, he's showing the spirit of excellence and everything that kingdom looks like, right? Because they are meant to come to us, right? We are the ones with the solution. Amazing. Right? Yes. And then so, yeah, go on. if I can cut real quickly. So when I was studying that scripture, this is profound. Jacob, his tribe was like in the tents and in the wilderness type of area. And when Joseph brought him into Egypt, instant wealth transfer, instant royalty. Right. That's it. Instant royalty. And it was like, just like that. Yeah. And it's interesting because we are um, royal priesthood. P Peter says it, right? A royal priesthood. I think when Peter was going to say, right, Lord, do you want me to write royal priesthood? Like, why aren't we just priesthood? No, right? Royal priesthood. And I believe the Lord showed Peter right royal priesthood. And it's interesting because when they were there, they were royalty. But if you study scripture mm -hmm. during that time, it, the Egypt broke their back, put pressure them and said, work, 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 work to the point where now they have the slave mentality where once they were royalty, but with the work and the hardships. And it was like, it was like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It was like condensing and, and shrinking down that kingdom call of greatness and domination and royalty to the point where now, how did they end up like slaves? Yeah. And then once again, by the grace of God, yeah. right? Uh, hashtag Ashby Revival, hashtag everything that's happening in the yeah. background, the Lord is opening up again and preparing supernatural great wealth transfer for us to remember once again, a royal call, our, our purpose for kingdom expansion. Yeah. Wow, wow. So <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get too pretty. No, no, you're fine, bro. <laughs> don't, don't worry about the time. It's all good. I'd rather have you flowing with the Holy Spirit than anything else, you know? So, my friend, uh, kind of tell us what's going on with the crypto space right now and where you see it going and what do people have to kind of do to get in on this? <laughs> Yeah, so 2014, obviously, it started 2009. They've been trying to do this since the year 2000. And finally, 2009, they were able to do it with the birth of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe it's prophetic, right? When, when, when the Richard Nixon shock, what does that mean? So when they created the gold standard, every paper note was backed by gold, right? And it's interesting when Richard Nixon shock, 1971, Hashtag Ashby Revival, hashtag <laughs> Jesus Revolution. In the middle of that was the Nixon shock where he took out, it was the death of kingdom money, right? Kingdom money. I believe U.S. was kingdom money because it was backed by gold. Gold is the Lord's <laughs> currency, right? Mm -hmm. The Lord owns the gold. And it's if you're tied to that, then you're operating kingdom. But Richard mm -hmm. Nixon, it's called the Nixon shock, took that out. But what's amazing is Bitcoin started bringing back this concept of gold-like properties, yeah. where now Bitcoin has proof of work, limited supply, transparency, and now it's this whole concept of, wow, Bitcoin was designed to start this. It was like a prophetic act, I believe, to start, hey, guys, the supernatural great wealth transfer is coming. Come back to the kingdom. Come back to the king's plans and his assignments. Come back to what, what kingdom is as opposed to the God of the man and God of this world, the, the kingdom of this world yeah. and come back and open up your eyes. So with, when that happened to cryptos, it was like, wow, all of a sudden people are becoming millionaires. And once again, yeah. kingdom principles is not a respecter of persons, That's right? It. it works for the Buddhists, the Hindus. Mm -hmm. the, the, it, this is crazy. It works for the Satanists. Mm -hmm. And it's funny how, why do we have, it works for our bosses, right? right? We're supposed to be the head, not the tail. I was like saying, Lord, why am I working for this company? But why am I serving an unbeliever? Why? Because they're using kingdom principles yeah. of excellence, mm. of love. They had some kind of form of love, of servant leadership, and it's working, yeah. refining your gift, and they're getting promoted. This I'm, I'm going to get cream in your broadcast, but the Lord is giving to them, right? Let me, I, I have six kids. I have a beautiful wife, Asmina. She's amazing. I have six kids. If all my six kids, doesn't operate in my business, in my principles, mm -hmm. in the way I do things, I have to give it to someone I'm going to adopt or someone that 
faithful to do it so that my six kids can live. Mm. Right. And then we're able to do our broadcast in the Internet because there's faithful, not non-Christians, but are accidentally kingdom minded so yeah. that we can do the show. Sorry, I'm getting into it again. I want to make sure I back. you hand off the baton to you. So I'm, I'm straying off the kingdom right now. Kingdom. So you asked me about the cryptos. So now with the cryptos, I believe I mean, wow, this is the first time I'm saying this. I believe cryptos is bringing back kingdom properties and kingdom like technology for yeah. this greatest end time harvest greatest revival this world has ever known wow awesome, i think yeah. that's the first time i saw that i said that <laughs> so talk to us about the ai kind of things as well because i know you're just getting into that right now and uh, you're going to be teaching about those kind of things as well so how do you see that tying in with crypto with the web3 space nfts metaverse all of that so yeah how do you, how do you see that combining Thank, thank you, thank you. Wow, I, I was like, wow, <laughs> Mr. Kirshen is gonna bring that bring AI to the mix. So being faithful, obviously, when you're faithful with little, the Lord gives you more. So not only do I have the Lord rewarded me in the cryptos, um, kingdom crypto coaching program, but now the AI component, hmm. right? So this AI, ever since the AI, it's funny. All the things that's happening. January, we had the the Web three Christian Web three and Summit. I believe I'm going to talk to the forum 12,000 call them kingdom crypto summit. Don't call it Christian because there is a difference between yeah, Christian maybe. businesses and kingdom entrepreneurs. Anyways, yeah. that happened. And this is funny in the middle was the Grammys of three or five minutes of devil worship and people were freaking out. And then third Ashbury revival. And then there's all these things that happen the Jesus revolution. And then guys, Look at the signs. Banks are crashing. I think, I don't know if it was SVB, $200 billion gone, right? If you had all your funds, that, well, I mean, this is USA. I'm Canadian, by the way. But in the US, I think, well, I don't know if it's three or four banks, but one bank already had like $200 billion gone from, from I'm lightly reading that. Um, okay, what was the question again, Christian? <laughs> <laughs> Tying in the Web3 and AI. AI. Yeah. Thank you. So now AI was silently, um, it's been around. Right, so this is that the crazy thing, Kershaw? 2003, hmm. my last project was Tesla, half of Tesla. Right. How the self driving car stays on the lane using AI right. and computer vision. And the 15 years of IT consulting, not, a, not only was I helping the, the Gen Xers and baby boomers learn new systems from old systems to new systems, I was teaching them AI. <laughs> right. And I was like, I was like, Lord, I think I'm not. I'm not uh, qualified to teach this, but like it's been around. This is a secret. So just like just like the God of Mammon that's been hiding this, they're, they're using kingdom like properties. Remember, enemies always just counterfeiting the, the, the kingdom, counterfeit love, counterfeit sex, counter, counterfeit marriages, counterfeit identity, counterfeit tools, counterfeit mm -hmm. technology. So counterfeit currency. So when the bank is like, we're going to do it for our gains. Right, the God of Man and God. It's so the same thing with the AI. They hit it. Not everyone has access, but behind the scenes, Google, Amazon, Netflix, uh, uh, um, Amazon. Uh, what else did I say? These big, big tech company had AI operating, and people yeah. don't didn't know. Yeah. But somehow, someone wanted to um, open up the floodgates. In November, yeah. when they release um, um, Chat GPT. In fact, they released the Dolly, the AI art first. This is amazing. Yeah. It's like these pieces, certain pieces are being released. And in November last year, Chat GPT was released. And this is it. Like everything makes sense. Why? I believe the Lord is coming soon. And then this is where we're going to come in the kingdom. I think I heard this from you, Kirshen, a kingdom golden era where yeah. now kingdom celebrities and it's just, yeah. what is the Lord doing? Now I liken it to Whoa. It's like the law first mentioned, Bezalel was the first person to be full with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And if, in the law first mentioned, when you study the scripture, it's utmost importance. Just like Genesis, be fruitful, uh, multiply that, that God commandment, the first commandment. But now with being filled with the Holy Spirit had nothing to do with speaking in tongues, uh, getting the joy and getting wrecked and shaking and all that and, uh, and getting loud. It was, it was for creativity to yeah. create and when Bezalel had the hammer, all he had was, I wish I had a hammer. All right, let's pretend this is a hammer. It's a sword. But let's say he had a hammer and he had chisels and all that. That's what AI is. It's just a tool. You can choose 1% of that or 100% of that, but it's a tool. It's a tool um, for you to create. 
And that's why I believe the Lord with a lot of these kingdom teachings with the cryptos and now with AI, it hasn't been so much easier for you to, to, to improve on what you're doing. Whether it's ministry, you study scripture and you can bring out uh, Matthews, Henry's commentary, vi vi vines, and then all the, the Greek and the Hebrew using chat GPT. Believe it or not, you can do that. Or just launching your business instead of a few months and a few days. Like, I believe the Lord is letting it out and saying, guys, here's mm. what's accessible to you. And guess what? I don't know who the chat GPT team is. I'm pretty sure one of them is probably a believer. But the Lord is unlocking, unlocking, just like what you said. Let's go back to, to, to Joseph, where now Egypt, Egypt gave it to Joseph. And then Joseph gave it to the rest of the chosen people. That instant supernatural great wealth transfer. And then they were supposed to expand. So now I believe that's what's happening where the Josephs, Kirshen Joseph, woo, <laughs> is now i love what you're doing with heaven's entrepreneur and everything that you're doing where you're you're preparing the saints i'm pretty sure you're going to talk about ai and you talk about cryptos and so much more and now the lord is preparing his sons and daughters for kingdom growth kingdom expansion and kingdom call right wow. so that ai is a tool for us to use it's a gift by god that's been released and yeah. now it's accessible to everyone and it's free hmm. i mean Kirsten, Wow, free. So beautiful, man. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you some time to actually teach now. Okay, and um, I'm just going to pull you off screen for just a second, all right? And uh, I'm actually going to just explain a few things to the guys. But this has been super exciting to talk to you. I really want to talk to you more, but I just want to give you time to teach, all right? So I'll see you in just a second. Thank you so much, my friend. Sounds good, sounds good. Okay, dear friends. Um, the upcoming challenge that Owen has, all right, he has something called uh, the great, the, the five day supernatural great wealth uh, transfer, right, through cryptos. And so there is a link in the description, it's or on the screen, it's coming across. It's, uh, I think it's www.godairdropchallenge. So head over to that. It starts on the 20th of March, I think. Owen will confirm in just a second. But guys, if you have your phone on you or something like that, just scan that QR code and you'll be able to go straight into that uh, link. Alrighty. So I personally have something coming up in April. Okay, that is called the power and ability to attain wealth. It's a kingdom school. Okay, we're going to be covering a bunch of topics. All right, but specifically part of the fact that it's a kingdom school, we're going to really go into generating a growth mindset, a wealth creator mindset. We're coming away from the employee mindset, going into the uh, the creator, entrepreneur, the investor mindset, and a ton of other things, okay? Check out that as well. Scan the QR code. There'll be links in the description. Have a reader for all the other topics we're going to be talking about, especially if you're going to want to create high-ticket uh, offers and products, services like that. Make sure you join, okay? It's four weeks. It's going to be on the 3rd, the 10th, 17th and the 24th all right so i'm just going to pull uh mr owen garcia back onto the screen i'm going to hand it over to him god bless you guys i'll see you in just a second go for it my friend all right so thank you kershin i think i got 30-ish minutes to teach and i was asking the lord what should i teach and i i'm going to pull this out from one of our membership pro um lesson and i signaled i felt like i had to signal the bell uh, as a watchman, that something big is going to happen. Something big. Post in the chat, just something big is going to happen. Something big is going to happen. Something big is going to happen. So uh, there's these four-year cycles in cryptos because in the code, every time, every four years, it gets the supply of Bitcoin as, that's being released is called the, the term having. So right now, 2023, it's supposed to be the crypto winter and the next crypto peak or crypto summer or the bull market or when prices go up and really hot is supposed to be around 2025 and 2026. But something happened, right? I mentioned it earlier already how January, the Web3 Crypto Summit happened, the, the Grammys happened number two, and then number three, that, that whole Ashbury Revival. And I was like, oh, Lord, what's happening? Ashbury Revival and then the Jesus revolution. And I was like, I was like, well, I was trying to do the copy for my next challenge. My, my copywriter, Katsy said, Erwin, did you know um, the Ashby revival happened in 1970? And I was like, hmm, 1970, wow. 
And then the Jesus Revolution was in the 70s. And I was like, oh, hmm. And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. something happened in 1970s. 1971 was when they killed Kingdom US dollar. That's when the Nixon sh shock happened. This is when President Nixon, 1971, took out the pairing of gold to the US dollar currency. This is when the fiat currency was introduced. And I was like, Lord, there's something happening here, right? And then more signs, right? So let me go back with those three things. And then what happened? Ashbury Revival happened. Anybody seen uh, Jesus Revolution movie? That was profound. I encourage you to watch that. They, what, what are the chances of the timing? I'm getting goosebumps. Wow, presence of the Lord. More fire, Lord. More fire in all the room. Woo! Every, every expression. So right now, Ashbury Revival, and then all of a sudden, whoa, all of a sudden, Ashbury Revival and the Jesus Revolution movie. Like, what's going on? And then I'm like, wait, if that's the case, what's going to happen to the U.S. currency? What's going to happen to the fiat currency? Friends, fiat currency, $16 trillion printed out of thin air. 80% of all of U.S. currency was printed in the last three years, years during COVID. That's like printing um, 8 billion iPhones. Actually, let's go with, let's go with 16 trillion iPhones. And it's like, let me tell you a story. I went to a thrift store and I showed my kids this Nokia phone. Anybody remember that Nokia phone? And I was like, wow, it's only like 50 cents or a dollar. And I was like, look at this kids, look at this Nokia phone. And I'm like, I, I have the iPhone 13 and iPhones now are like, forget the days of $200 because of inflation. It was like $1,600. If there's like 16 trillion iPhones, it will now be worth 1,600. I'll be probably worth a dollar or 50 cents. Why is this one dollar worth one dollar when you printed 80% of that out of the blue? So, friends, once again, Ashbury Revival, Jesus Revolution, Jesus Revolution stopped, that revival stopped. And I believe that fiat, when Nixon shot, stopped the, the currency pegged to gold, it stopped the flow of that revival to get bigger, that kingdom expansion to get bigger. And all of these other teachings of, oh, heaven is the only place that we're going to experience the kingdom. That's a lie, by the way, because we're experiencing the kingdom here. Heaven is here now. That scripture comes into place where for us who sacrifice everything for the kingdom, uh, families, wives, businesses. If you read that scripture again, I'm paraphrasing, the reward is now here. The treasures are here and the treasures are also in heaven, not just in heaven. Okay, so with these three things, that's what I'm going to teach about today. Wow, I believe three catalysts is about to happen. Three, just blow up the chat and just put three, three, three. You could put the number three or no, the, the, letter, the word three. These three catalysts, write this down in your notes. I believe these things is potentially going to happen. Obviously, it's the prophetic words and the People have to walk into it. Number one, the change in the U.S. leadership. Change in U.S. leadership. Number two, the death of the U.S. dollar. 1971 versus 2023. When the death of the kingdom U.S. dollar and then the birth of fiat. And now I felt like, wow, it's like the first Adam and the second Adam. And then number two is the death of the U.S. dollar and the introduction of the kingdom currency. And then three, not a lot of people know this, there is $100 trillion flooding the $2 trillion market of cryptos through Fidelity since November. You, you know how they, they, you cook lobster? I mean, I'm Canadian. So when you cook a lobster live, you put it in a pot and you put the water in, like nice sea water, and you start boiling that baby up. <laughs> but it's a slow boil, and then the lobster doesn't know what hit him, and then he's dead. And then you eat that yummy lobster with butter and garlic. Friends, this $100 trillion is like that lobster boiling. People don't know what's happening. The, the U.S. baby boomers and Gen Xers have $100 trillion saved up around there. And it's slowly going into the two trillion market of cryptos through Fidelity. Right now, Fidelity has opened up the floodgates. I'm gonna go too deep on that one, and then allowing people to go into cryptos. Okay, let me use some slides. Okay, let me put some kingdom keys. All right, uh, you wanna? Yes, thank you, Kirsten. So right here, kingdom keys. First kingdom key, Genesis 26. This is the story of Isaac sowing during a famine. 
Are you experiencing famine right now? I mean, recession, inflation, any famines, all that stuff. Um, by the way, on a side on a side note, if you if your job is repeatable, this is not my notes. If your job is a repeatable task and it's the same thing again and again, and there's nothing new, AI will replace you, and robotics will replace you. So get into AI, get into my course <laughs> that's up and coming. Okay, let's go back to this. With this famine in the land, I believe we are in a famine in the land. But notice what the Lord says to Isaac. He says, do not go down to Egypt. To live in the land where I tell you to live. Friends, I believe the Lord is telling you, don't go where you think you need to go. Don't just think you're nine to five. Don't just think what's same old, same old. Live in the land where the Lord is telling you to live. And in this case, in this context, this is cryptos. Stay in this land for a, for a while and I will be with you and bless you, will bless you. Wow, whoa. For to you and your descendants, I will give all these lands and will confirm the oath I swore to your father, Abraham. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and we will give them all these lands. Notice supernatural great wealth transfer messaging here, right? The scripture is multi-level, multifaceted, and it's amazing when you read it in an amazing context. Right, So that's the kingdom key. And obviously, what did Isaac do? He stayed in the land. He planted the crops in the land. And in the same year, reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. And might I add here that he became so rich and his wealth continued to grow. Notice kingdom golden era, kingdom celebrities, right? Not like the way the world has celebrities. We have celebrities to show the king and his kingdom, King Jesus, Right? He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. Friends, to the wealth of the true cryptos, we will have so many flocks and herds and servants that the world will envy us. Right, And I love this. So all the wells that his father's servants had dug in time of his father Abraham. I love this. I'm not going to go too deep in this. This is now Isaac redug those wells, those wells. And I believe I believe true cryptos, we will be redugging wells of revival and people and churches and outside the churches and in the marketplace and the seven mountains, the river of the Holy Spirit will flow and it will be unstoppable. And just like the Niagara Falls, search it out, it will produce so much energy for the kingdom and for the sons and daughters that it will be unstoppable. Whoa. Okay, so these are the keys I'm going to set up here, true cryptos. The three catalysts that I'm talking about here, the change in U.S. leadership. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. This scripture, when it comes to the Ashby revival on what they did, all of a sudden, I believe the healing of the land is starting to happen. When people are turning their face, I believe this revival is continuing, even though in the news or on YouTube, they said it's not happening. It is still ongoing. I got a lot of American friends all over the USA. And I believe there is a, a needs a leader to execute the plan and task for this to continue. Right. And on a side note, what can happen with cryptos? This can drop cryptos to a low like never seen before. Right. This is if you search out March 2020, Bitcoin drop from 10K, 15K, drop to 5,000. And in the same way, when all these uncertainty happens, this is what's going to happen. If When the change in leadership happens, gold and silver will go up. Whoa. Gold and silver will go up. Ride the gold and silver. Ride the gold and silver. And then that's the first catalyst and positioning yourself when this happens, when this has happened. And it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Okay? Let me go to the next slide. I mean, this is a chat GPT just demonstrating AI real quickly. What, how low did Bitcoin drop? It dropped up to $3,800. That's crazy uh, in a single day. Wow. So please, please, I teach in my academy, have 10%, right in the chat, 10%, 10%, 10%. Have 10% liquid for discounted investment opportunities. Okay. This is not financial advice. Okay. So here, Bitcoin. All the cryptos will drop half and some more. And then using chat GPT AI tools, how, how long did it get back and recovered? It took two and a half months. I believe we don't have that much for it to recover. It'll recover probably in a few weeks and top a month, right? So position yourself, position yourself. So that's the change in leadership. 
And look at this. Haggai 2. I thank you for my friend Robin who shared this. Haggai 2, 5 to 9. This is amazing. This is where, according to the word of the Lord, I covenant with you. You came out of Egypt. Reference the supernatural great wealth transfer again. My, so my spirit remains among you. Do not fear. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once more, in it is a little while. Notice that little while to, to stay in the land in the little while. For a while, notice that, for a while, in a little while, in Haggai 2. And then he says, whoa, I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land. Who here is experiencing that shaking? I will shake all nations and they shall come to the desire of all nations. Whoa. In this context of desire of all nations, in the crypto context, People have been wanting this transparent currency, this transparent monetary system. And I believe crypto's Web3 blockchain technology will do this. And guess what? When he does this, and I will fill this temple with the glory, says the Lord of hosts. Whoa, verse 8, the silver is mine. Guys, there is no accident. What, but why the Lord writes it this way? Silver is mine. He didn't say gold. And the gold is mine. Hint, hint. Silver is probably going to go up much more than gold. All right. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former. Wow. Says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace. Says the Lord of hosts. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to go on that one. So death of the U.S. dollar. Second catalyst. Ooh, first catalyst was all about changing U.S. leadership. Prepare yourself. Gold and silver have 10% liquid for this investment objective. Second Second catalyst that's about to happen is the death of the U.S. dollar. Asbury revival lasted 185 hours. I'm not going to read this. And it's interesting, 1970, right? And then what, what is the Asbury revival? Chat GPT knows Asbury revival, which is so powerful uh, using Chat GPT. And I said, what is the Nixon shock? 1971, this is when President Richard Nixon took out the gold standard and created fiat currency. This is the God of the mammon's currency. This is the God of this world's currency. Guys, uh, the banks are with our $100 is making $1,000 a year for $100. Well, we're making 1%. Isn't that something wrong with that? <laughs> right, friends? Right? Something is wrong with this. And, and we're seeing the signs. I didn't put it in my three catalysts. I think it's my fourth catalyst. Now the banks are toppling down like dominoes. Whoa. Right? Two banks... Three banks, four banks. You guys are posting in the chat. I think 200 billion. It's toppling down, right? That's the fourth one. I'll jump there later. But here, Nixon shock took out the thing. And why? The second catalyst can get the new leader. Yes, Trump shock. Look at this. I want to call this, post in the chat, Trump shock. Trump shock. Trump shock. I am no, like, affiliation <laughs> with any um, government. But I, this is my own words. I believe Trump will kill the U.S. fiat currency. And, I mean, this is my opinion. Pray to the Lord, take it to the Lord, and potentially name Bitcoin as the new currency. This, is, this will send Bitcoin from its 25K price to potentially 150 to 300K levels. And, friends, the Lord showed me this in, um, in Orlando. Like, the Bitcoin is like the star in a Christmas tree or the, the angel, and all the cryptos are tied in like the ornaments, and if there's a giant angel that pulls that star, and all the ornaments will go up, and all the cryptos will go up, right? So this is the second catalyst. If he does that, El Salvador has Bitcoin as the legal tender. Central African Republic has their legal tender as Bitcoin. They don't look at prices with US dollar. They look at it in the price of Bitcoin. How much is this iPhone in Bitcoin? How much is this house in Bitcoin? Friends, there's countries that's operating like that. In fact, uh, the South American, Central American countries will have will follow that. And same thing with Africa. The ones that are pushing cryptos is the third world countries. Whoa, the unbank that's desiring the, the kingdom currency, the transparent currency, the currency for the people. Whoa. Okay. So now the death of the U.S. dollar. We spent some time on that one. And then now the third, the death of the U.S. dollar. I mean, guys, the word dollar will disappear from our vocabulary. That's crazy, right? Like back then they had shells. They had, I don't know, bartering system. They had the talent, the mina. 
they had gold bars, little silvers, and then we had the dollar. And then that dollar word can disappear. Wow. Right? So the death of the U.S. dollar, second catalyst, third catalyst, friends, $100 trillion, U.S. If you were to look it up, American baby boomers and Gen X have around $100 trillion. And guess what? Since November 22, 2020, like what I said, with the slow boil of lobster or something slow, I mean, depending on your country, what post in the chat, what do you like doing to cook in the pot? Slow boil. <laughs> Crab. I don't know if someone cooks frog <laughs> boil like that. I don't know. But slow boil. And now Fidelity, since November 2022, has opened up the floodgates for American Gen Xers and baby boomers to purchase cryptos without having no knowledge of cryptos, just like the way they would buy Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google stock, just like they would buy oil and gold and silver. Say, oh, yeah, get me some of that. And guys, when this floods the two trillion market cap of cryptos to one hundred trillion, whoa, this is gonna skyrocket and push cryptos. Right now, Bitcoin is around the top ten of the asset. It will beat every asset class: Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, Google. I think the top two is I don't know if it's Amazon or something out there. But the last thing it needs to beat is gold at ten trillion. And when this happens. And people see that, why am I getting all this other stuff? Well, Bitcoin is king. I'm not a Bitcoin um, maximist, but it was just Bitcoin is setting the stage for the rest of cryptos. In fact, a gold nugget, it's not even about Bitcoin. It's about the low cap, medium cap coins as a side nugget right there for maximum gains up to 150 to 250x. Just throwing it out there. This is not financial advice. When this floods the $2 trillion market, $100 trillion, and now Bitcoin surpasses gold in market cap. I mean, mind you, it already surpassed gold 2018 when it passed the 1600 mark. So um, Bitcoin has never gone down less than 5,000, but now it's going to beat the market cap. What is market cap? All of the gold in the world is around 10 trillion. All of the Bitcoin in the world is 1 trillion-ish. But when it beats gold at 10 trillion plus, that's it. That's it. Cryptos is going to outpace, and it's been outpacing the last 10 years Every asset class, it has outperformed businesses, it has outperformed paper assets, it has outperformed commodities, it has outperformed real estate and in collectibles. You can throw it out there. Bitcoin and cryptos has outperformed that in the last 10 years. So when this happens, friends, 100 trillion supernatural great wealth transfer for what? For kingdom expansion, right? The Lord is raising up kingdom financiers and I pray you hear what Holy Spirit is saying. Okay, I think that's my slide. That's my slide. And then I don't have a slide. You can take out my slide, Kirshen. So the fourth catalyst, I want to talk about it. Actually, it's not because it's related to the death of the U.S. dollar. Number two, there's a domino effect of banks falling. Guys, hear what's happening, right? Crypto Summit, why did that happen? First ever, Bethel and, and Kirshen was there and, and, and Oral Roberts was there teaming up. It took like one and a half months I think, I don't know if it was 30 or 70 crypto um, web leaders that are believers. January, why that happened? I, I believe that sparked something. And then Ashbury Revival, Jesus Revolution. Guys, the Lord is speaking, right? The last time that happened, it was with the creation of fiat. Now, all of a sudden, Ashbury Revival, Jesus Revolution movie? <laughs> there is no mistake Guys, this is amazing news. I'm telling you, share everyone the GodAirdropChallenge.com because I'm going to go more in-depth in five days. And I believe the Lord is going to unlock something so powerful. Let me tell you this story real quickly. My wife, she's amazing, six babies. She always told me, Erwin, I want to be an evangelist. I believe I'm called to be an evangelist. One of our wallets ballooned up to $200,000, which allowed us to go to Orlando to move there for six months. She does the CFAN, Christ for All Nations, the ministry of evangelist Reinhard Bonnke and Daniel Kalenda. She does the boot camp and 239,000 souls save. And she's a CFAN ordained evangelist. Supernatural acceleration of her kingdom call. Through crypto, she was able to do that. Right? I was able to take two of my friends to one million and many others um, to various amount. But friends, 
the purpose of the supernatural great wealth transfer, just like Adam and Eve. Why? They had nothing. And all of a sudden, here you go, wealth transfer, trees, animals, the whole world. Here you go. Why? To grow the Garden of Eden, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, take dominion. To grow the kingdom and Garden of Eden to the rest of the earth. Same thing with Noah, right? Here you go, Noah, supernatural great wealth transfer to grow the, 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 the kingdom. Same thing with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and, and, and Joseph, right? Joshua and, and Caleb and Mo Moses. But friends, I'm going to close with this. Uh, right now, for you to get into this supernatural great wealth transfer, you need to have the Joshua and Caleb mindset. So just type in, type in, actually type in in the chat, kingdom mindset. Kingdom mindset, kingdom mindset. I believe Joshua and Caleb had a kingdom mindset, right? They understood what this tr transfer is for. They understood how to possess the promised land, not just to sustain the wealth, but to grow it. Guys, for right now, the father loves us so much. I have six kids. I want to give them a million, a billion dollars. But are they ready for it? Because wealth is an amplifier. When, when they had the wealth transfer from Egypt, unrestrained, unlimited, amazing. This is funny. Joshua and Moses came up to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments. And the, 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 the Israelites told Aaron, Aaron, we don't know what to do with this wealth. Here you go. And it's funny. This is Aaron. Aaron goes, when Moses comes down, he goes, bro, Moses, bro, uh, they gave me the wealth. I didn't know what to do with it. And out comes this golden calf. <laughs> and it's funny because the wealth will reveal the good and the bad inside you. If there's anything non-kingdom in your heart, you will lose that kingdom wealth as fast as it comes. That, that's why when you hear these lotto stories of people hitting the lotto, they lose it in a few, in a few days, in a few weeks, in a few months, in a few years. Just like NBA, NFL, um, mega sock mega sports stars who gets the wealth so fast and if they don't have a kingdom mindset they will lose it just like that in fact it can cause it can cause divorce it can cause your life it can cause so much headaches and that's where the lord is withholding that supernatural great wealth transfer and i believe the people in this call in this broadcast the lord is entrusting you and he's saying son daughter you are ready you are ready prepare continue to repent change your mind not just not just to stop sinning have the kingdom mindset to sustain the wealth and to grow the wealth for kingdom expansion wow so Christian, i think i ended up Hopefully six minutes, seven minutes early. Uh, wow, so good. Thank you, for man. Time. You're dropping some golden nuggets, dude. Some golden nuggets. Thank you so much for sharing the knowledge, man. So um, I actually really feel like I want to let you keep going. You know, there's so much in you. But I want to honor your time. <laughs> I, I want you to jump into his challenge, guys. Please check that out. All right. Um, that's the link again on the screen. Um, I've had it just flashing to out. So, oh, and can I add on to something? Um, yeah, personally, real quickly, there is a VIP implementation lab for $31. Friends, I mean, obviously, that's to cover the ad cost in that, but I encourage you, please get the implementation lab, the VIP, where you will get the backstage pass with the Zoom. By the way, Kirsten is going to be there day zero. Heads up, day zero, Sunday, this Sunday coming, uh, day zero. So, you get backstage pass. We will actually and then not only that, you'll get all the recordings um, lifetime uh, for free. Uh, and then you'll get a bunch of bonuses. But please, I encourage you to get the VIP implementation. Of come hungry. Come hungry. Come open. Uh, so I encourage you, please, upgrade to the VIP implementation lab. Um, and then, um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, make sure you upgrade to the VIP implementation. Go ahead, uh, Kirsten. Yeah, of course. So my friends... Make sure you like this, comment, and make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, share this out. People need to hear what Owen just said. Okay, um, try to get as many people as you can to his challenge. Um, I really believe that everything that he's got for this hour is so needed, and especially now that he's tying in the AI kind of technology with this, uh, it's only going to blow up even further. So, uh, man, I really want to say thank you for everything you're doing for the kingdom. Uh, beyond that, thank you for being such an amazing 
person you're just you got such a beautiful heart man <laughs> so, thank uh, you yeah thank you so much for joining me today is there anything else you want to say really fast and we'll wrap it up there oh no i just want to say thank you for kershit i mean this man continue follow the same thing not just with the god airdrop the stuff that he's working on his tv just stay plugged in stay plugged in what he, uh, kershit is doing with heaven's entrepreneur and all the stuff that he does i support that and it's just big it's just being in this kingdom family, there's no competition. So Kirshen and I is like, yeah. hey, get my Australian customers. And then like, uh, you know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't matter because we are family. Kingdom is family. I, I, I do this infinity sign representing the kingdom, but kingdom is family and we are family here. But I obviously kingdom is a kingdom of risk as well. That's why we need the Holy Spirit, the comforter. Sorry, man, I'm like preaching, preaching. But like, if you're in the comfortable level right now, you got to get cursing to make you uncomfortable mm. <laughs> so that Holy Spirit can comfort you, right? So yeah. if you're feeling comfortable wherever you are right now, whether in ministry or business or your nine to five, I encourage you go deep, whether it's it's cursing or mine, to make for us to make you uncomfortable, for more for you, for kingdom expansion, for kingdom wealth, because that's exactly why Jesus sent the comforter. So I'm going to close with that. <laughs> God bless you guys. Thank you so much. If you have any questions right now, I'm just going to give you uh, maybe two minutes. Just type into the chat and uh, we're going to wrap it up just after that. Okay. Any questions for Owen or myself, uh, just go ahead and type in the chat. Okay. So my dear friend, uh, tell us what was the date? 20th of March, right? March 20th. Oh, I see my mom. Hi, mom. My mom's saying great revelation. I love my mom. She taught me so much things. Uh, wow. You don't understand how much she's done for me. She kept us four brothers alive and she showed me hints of the kingdom. So my mom's in. She's like great revelation. My dad and my mom. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry. What was the question again? Yeah, I <laughs> no, I was just, uh, oh, I actually forgot to. <laughs> I was like, what are, what, what are the chances of your parents dialing in? <laughs> yeah. Man, that, that, well, I, think, you think you made it. <laughs> I think you made it when your parents come and watch <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> all right guys all i think right. uh, i think we'll wrap it up there thank you so much Owen. it's been a pleasure okay and uh, we'll talk soon god bless you guys see you all soon. right bye all right.